Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel which is called Mathematics, channel with really interesting and quick question and today we have a really interesting question, everyone make this mistake, on the first side it looks like very simple question, very easy question, we have 9 divided by 3 divided by 9 divided by 3. So everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, everyone know about this division sign right here, so it looks like everyone can solve this and right now here is the question, what is the correct answer, right here we have 3 options, so right now choose one option, what do you think is correct and write your option down into the comment section and we will check our answers in one minute. It will be really interesting because this is a very tricky question and many goes wrong. So first of all I want to start with this solution. So we have 9 divided by 3 divided by 9 and divided by 3. So here's our question and one part of students solve this question like that. They say okay 9 divided by 3 on the left hand side equal to 3 and we have the same expression on the right hand side. So we have 9 divided by 3 on the right hand side which is equal to 3 as well. And with this division in the middle we have 3 divided by 3 equal to 1. Yeah so it looks like uh, the correct answer is 1 so we have this option A. So one part of students solve this question like that and they think this is a correct solution to this question. And so now I want you to understand that in math we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. So we cannot solve this like chaotically, we cannot jump from left to right, so we cannot do whatever we want, because in math we need to know what is the correct order of operation. And for this question let's look for, for example at this PMDNC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world and right now let's solve this question according to a correct math operation order. Yeah, And then we will check with this one, maybe we'll have the same answer. Let's look at it. So right here I want to separate this solution. So this is the main solution, a lot of students solve this question like that. And right now I wanted to show you how can we solve this mathematically and we will check with this answer 1. So we have 9 divided by 3 divided by 9 and divided by 3. So here is our question. And let's look at this order. This is the order of operation. We need to know what is we do. We need to do at first or what we need to do as our last step. So this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom and the first step is parentheses. Okay, now we need to look at it. Where do we have these parentheses? Let's look at it. Let's scan. I don't see any parentheses, so we just we just skip this part. We don't have any parentheses and it's really great. We just, we just skip this part. Okay, what about exponents? Let's look at it. Maybe we have like three squares, like nine cubed. No, we don't have it. We don't have any powers. So we just skip these exponents, exponents parts. Okay, the next step, multiplication and division part. This is one common group and we need to look at it in a perspective of a group. So multiplication and division sign. Where do we have this multiplication and division sign? So right here we have division sign, so we need it. Right here we have division sign, we need it expression and we division sign. So all the time we have division sign. Right here we have division, we don't have multiplication. So we don't have parents exponent and multiplication we don't have this elements but we have this division division part and this is only part that we have because we don't have any addition and subtraction part we don't have any addition and subtraction part we have only division part okay we we just figure out with this PMDMC order and right now we need to we need to look uh, what is the correct order to do this problem from left to right from right to left because according to PMDMC correct order is from left from left to right. Okay, what is the first step? What is the first sign from left to right? We need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. Right here we have three signs, this division, this and this one, and of course the first division sign is from here, this is from, from left side, this is the first step. 9 divided by 3, this is our first step, so we have 3, we have divided by 9 and divided by 3. This is our first step. As you can see, this is absolutely the same step as I told before. This is absolutely the same step. But right now, if we look closely to our expression right here, back, we uh, if we divided 9 divided by 3, if we go back right here. But right now, we need to scan once more what is the first sign from left to right. And if we scan right here this expression, we can easily see that 3 divided by 9 is our second step. This is our next step after this one. It's not the same as 9 divided by 3 because the first sign from left to right is this one and 3 divided by 9 equal to 1 over 3 if you're talking about a fraction. So we still have this division sign by 3 so we divided this one we still have this division and the answer is 1 over 9 which is absolutely brilliant because right here we we have a completely different answer with this option A which is really interesting for us and as you can see this is absolutely different approach, absolutely different solution and of course this is not the same answer as 1. So what is the correct answer? 
this one and 1 over 9 or 1. Of course, a correct answer is 1 over 9 because we solve it according to a correct order of operation. This is absolutely incorrect answer because we jump from left to right, which is absolutely wrong. Of course, if we put brackets, if you put parentheses right here, then we can easily say that option A is a correct because we need to start from parentheses right here, start from parentheses right here, and a correct answer is 1. But right here we don't have any, any option. We don't have... Um, any parentheses, so the correct answer is 1 over 9. So this is my solution to this problem. I hope you understand this explanation. Uh, definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, and I hope your answer is the same as mine. So I wish you all the best, and have a great day.